Hey everyone, welcome back to the program. Today, I wanted to make a quick video to go over what is probably my most frequently asked question, and that is, my motors are hot in my acro bee. What do I do? Today, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so when somebody asks me that question, my motors are hot in my acro bee, what do I do? The first thing I'm gonna respond with is I bet you're running gold or unicorn motors, and you're probably gonna say yes. Well, the reason why your motors are hot is because the PIDs are set a little aggressively by default when you get your acro bee. So what do you say we jump into the configurator and I'm going to show you how to make a couple of easy corrections to hopefully get your motors to run a little bit cooler. Let's get in there. With it connected, I'm going to make sure I have the right COM port selected and I'm going to hit connect. You may have noticed that I'm running Butterfly, but this video is going to work for Betaflight as well. Let's get connected. All right, I've got my B-Brain connected up in Betaflight. And so the first thing I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna shoot right over to the PID tuning tab. Like I said, by default, your PIDs are set pretty high. In most of these small, tiny whoop style aircraft, it's very common to have your P gains really what's considered on the high side. And if you look at mine here, my roll is 95, my pitch is 100, and my yaw is 160. I could probably bump these down a little bit, but whatever, that's where they are. But this is what matters. Look over here on my D gains for my roll, my pitch, and my yaw, and look at how low they are. My roll is set at 18, my pitch is at 20, and my yaw is also at 20. This I would recommend as being kind of on the high side for unicorn motors. So if that's what you're running, this is what I would start with. And when I say on the high side, that's because my P gains are also relatively high. The higher your P gains are, the higher you're going to need your D gains to compensate for oscillation. So you need to find the sweet spot in there. But anyway, I know that if I run my D gains at 18 and 20s, I know this is going to be good and it's going to help reduce the amount of heat in the motors. So that's one thing that we can look at here is our D gains. And just remember, you want to kind of try to keep these set as low as possible. Now, another thing we can look at in order to reduce motor temperatures is if we jump over to our configuration tab, there's a new filtering system that's included in Butterflight and also Betaflight, which is the dynamic filter. What you're going to want to do is simply enable the dynamic filter, go back to your PID tuning tab, click on filter settings, and you're going to want to turn off all of the notch filters. It is completely safe to be able to fly with all of your notch filters disabled as long as you're running the dynamic filter. So again, click that on under configuration, go over to PID tuning, turn all these guys off, Make sure, of course, you hit the appropriate save button when it's required. And there you have it. Hopefully, these simple tricks will help you to be able to reduce the motor temperatures in your acro bee. Remember that the gold and unicorn motors are really aggressive, so they are going to get warm. But you definitely don't want them hot. Anyway, maybe if you found this video helpful, I can talk you into subscribing. Maybe you'll click on that like button. But that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.